Courtney, I think it's such an amazing day with Nasdaq at a new all-time high uh, for, for Elon Musk to pass Warren Buffett, who, who sat on $130 billion for almost all of this rally. You know, the, 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 the differences, I think, reflect the differences in investing styles. Old Wall Street missing a rally, young millennials rocking and rolling. Very much so. I mean, I, I think even anecdotally, I have my own friends and associates and all of those millennials where everyone thinks they don't have a lot of cash on hand. A lot of them do, and they are definitely interested in getting invested right now. So I really agree with your point that there, I think you're really seeing them come in. And Tesla is pretty interesting because it is very expensive. It's trading over 430 times forward earnings compared to the S&P 500, only 27 times forward earnings. But you do have a lot of kind of good signs, I think, in the short term. For example, there's a really sure, big sure. short squeeze on this. There's over $20 billion getting bet against the stock and only a quarter of analysts who are writing it as a buy. But oddly enough, it's actually a good sign in the short term that it could probably go even further from here. News uh, from Pfizer and, and BioNTech, uh, both FDA approved for fast track on these COVID-19 vaccines. In fact, they're saying they're going to manufacture 100 million doses by the end of the year. Uh, so, I mean, Courtney, what does that mean uh, if we do get this vaccine? And just by the way, Moderna and Novavax, uh, BioNTech, uh, these stocks are through the roof again today. So what does it mean if we get a vaccine and, and would you be an investor in these names? Yeah, a vaccine is only going to be a positive for the markets. I mean, realistically, things are already getting a little bit more back to normal. We're starting to see spending pick up. We're starting to see economic activity pick up a little bit here. And that's without a vaccine. So if we have that in the horizon, we see a light at the end of the tunnel, I think you're going to see a lot of that cash. I mean, remember, we have $5 trillion right. sitting in cash. Everyone got so nervous in March. And if they see that light at the end of the tunnel, I think you're going to see that all flood back in.